So I went to my parents' house to drop off Gavin. There wasn't anybody there. So, um, you know, you might as well not even try to count on people anymore because it's not going to happen. Try to get Brandon to give me a check. Um, he was in a meeting. And I asked him earlier if he was going to be in the office all day so I would know whether or not I could count on him being there for a check. And, yeah, I'd be in the office all day. Bullshit. You're in a fucking meeting. So, didn't have any money. I didn't have a babysitter. But you know what? I said, fuck it all. And I just went. I went up to the place. And there's a really nice girl. Which, by the way, they were black. Thank God. They spoke my language. And, and like, anyway, she was super sweet. And I threatened Gavin before we went in. I told him I'd beat his ass if he acted up. And he better stay with me and not try to run off. And he did pretty good till the very end. And I was only in there like five minutes. Anyway, the girl that I talked to, it was her mom that does alterations, and all she really knows how to do is jeans, and so she was like, oh my gosh, my mom is in Frisco, I don't know how to do this. She was like, so sweet though, I felt so bad for her. Sorry, anyway, shit, I hate lights. Man, I'm not watching me talk to myself. Anyway, so... She told me that she kept the dress and she got my name and number and I still had the price tag on and everything so hopefully it won't go missing and I'm supposed to go back tomorrow. Oh it's yellow. Okay anyway. Um, so then I get through and I go back to my mom's house and surprise surprise she's there. She's like oh I was just working last school. The only way I was going to get off of that shit is if she had a meeting too because I figured she couldn't help it. She could have called me. I have a fucking cell phone. But she's like, oh, I was just like, so she was sitting there in her room for the extra 30 minutes knowing that I was waiting for her at her house. That was a bitch move. So you know what? Fuck her. So anyways, I went and I said, well, I already did my shit, but I'm dropping him off anyways. And I left. So she didn't want me to pull a case to Anthony. She don't. So she's going to keep my kid when I say she's going to keep my kid. Because you know Casey killed that kid. I wouldn't kill Gavin, but I'd sure drop him off at a police station or something. That car totally just pulled out in front of that other car. Uh, you're out of your mind if you think you're getting in front of me. You have lost your mind. Anyway, I think that my car sits. I know that dude's not looking at me. I know, like I'm on the phone. Where's my phone? Ugh. Here's a good trick that I learned. You act like you're on the phone. Do, 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 do. Then you can just talk to yourself and nobody knows. <laughs> anyway, so. Other thing that happened is that my car started spitting and sputtering. And like, it knows that I'm going to trade it in in a few days. It knows. It's trying to fuck with me. And that's not cool. Anyway, so. It really felt like it was going to quit. I feel like I'm talking on the phone and I'm not. There's somebody there. See? It's my picture of Gavin. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm so lame. <laughs> anyway, so I went to Sonic because I eat my feelings and I got some cheese sticks. I'm lactose intolerant, by the way. And I got some coffee. Not only did I get coffee, but I got oh, people are trying to get me in a motherfucking wreck. Jesus Christ, Mary Joseph. Baby Jesus. Piss me off. Okay, I'm gonna clear. Anyways. My god, seriously I had to slam my brakes and I wasn't even on their ass. Uh, um mm, people piss me off. I swear to god, people have been trying to hit me the past week. I don't have time for this shit. I'm trying to get at least three thousand dollars for this fucking car. I think these people did that shit on purpose too. Ah! I had a lot of saying that, that's what I'm gonna fucking do when I get home. Anyway, so I eat my feelings, so I got coffee, Dr. Pepper, and cheese sticks. I'm gonna be so sick tonight. You know what? I don't give a fuck. Because at least my stomach will hurt and not my heart. Haha, <laughs> they're walking, man. Gotta ride. My car will hit me and, like, my car will die. Or like, 
douchebag. Should take a picture of him. See me giving him looks like "fuck you, fuck you, stupid white boys." See, I don't just hate certain people; I hate everybody. Get her 